Hello everyone, I hope you are well. So today I make you this video for show you how to recover data from an old uh, and broken instance. So now in video I create a new intent for test and video for see how to uh, get this error after how to recover it. The instance is created but I can't connect for now so I will create a text file with uh, necessary information it's not mandatory to create this file, but it's uh, it's better for uh, for know uh, what we do and uh, for continue the tutorial. Now I can connect to this instance and uh, I, will, uh, I will search if uh, any firewall is already installed, it's not. So I will uh, check statue, it's uh, not activated, it's not installed, so I will install the firewall. UFW and after I install this firewall I will check statue it's uh, say uh, it's inactive so I will enable firewall Firewall say me uh, connection can uh, be uh, closed, so uh, no problem. After you, after I enable, I close this instance, and uh, like you see in video, when I reconnect to this uh, instance, uh, it's not working. I got this error, upstream not found. So now, if you got this error, uh, you can get uh, a solution from uh, this instance. Uh, the solution will work for me, it's uh, in the video. So go to the uh, manage tab to this instance, go to snapshot and create a snapshot of this uh, broken lifestyle instance. Once snapshot is created, you will need to click on the right three point and you need to click export to Amazon EC2. My dashboard in, is in French, but uh, if, you dashboard, if you have dashboard in English or whatever, it's the same. So you click to continue and continue and uh, now you can wait because uh, export to uh, Amazon EC2 takes some time you can check time at bottom right once it's exported you go to your EC2 dashboard
you go to MAI and uh, you you see uh, the the current uh, snapshot you exported. So you need to go snap ID snapshot ID. So you go to uh, tools tab at bottom and you uh, copy your snapshot ID. It's very important for continue the tutorial. Now you go to Elastic Block Store. Now on Elastic Block Store. And the volume you select you search by snapshot ID filter and you see if corresponds the snapshot id in your text file and suggest by a dashboard if yes you continue and uh, click action and create a volume so now uh, it's important to save your uh, availability zone because your ec2 instance and you volume need to be in the same availability zone. Then you can create your volume. After that, click on Volume ID. Now go to Instance, Instance. You create a EC2 instance. So you choose, you choose the distribution of you want. If you want CentOS, Ubuntu, or default Amazon, I will take Ubuntu. You select and uh, you don't directly click create, you go to next and uh, here you need to select availability zone the same as your volume ID. after you can uh, create it and uh, now it's the first most important thing to this video you need to create new key i don't know why but when i try to connect with the old or imported key it's not don't work Now your EC2 instance is created, so you need to connect it. Before that, we, we associate your volume, your previously volume created to this new EC2 instance. So you go to Elastic Block Store and your 20 GB of uh, memory it's your light cell imported and your 8 gigabyte it's your current um, disk space you need to know uh, which uh, which line is it you can refer to snapshot id and uh, you right click and you attach volume and you select your c2 instance 
now connect to this instance. I don't know why, but uh, when I try to connect to my to my EC2 instance on Brother, it doesn't working. So you need to download Putty. You copy your public DNS, you paste it in the uh, host name and save saved session. Now you save these settings and you load it. Then in out tab, you select your key, your private key. Try to connect with PEMK. If not working, we need to don to start Putty Gen. We will get with this tool private key from your PEM file. So you select your PEM file, you can save your public key, but the most important is uh, save your private key. On private key, there are um, your public key, your private key, and other information. After save your private key, you load your settings and, and in SSH auto notification tab, you load your private key. And after that, connect will be successful. Now we will make all the work. So you need to mount your attached volume from your light cell instance and redirect this volume to a directory who, who is accessible. Then you type sudo mount slash dev slash xvdf1 slash mnt After type this command, your file will be accessible. So now you need to download FileZilla. You install it. Uh, be careful of promotion software during an uh, installation. Then you start it, you go to Seed Manager, you add a new website. You past your public DNS like in SSH you put 22 ports because I don't know why because the 21 don't work properly then you select K authentication method so if you are on Ubuntu distribution uh, username is Ubuntu and you select your private key. You can select your PEM file, file case or your PPK file case. Now you can connect. Then you go to MNT 
folder at your root of your EC2 instance. And, and that's it. Here you have all your data of your uh, light cell instance. You can uh, check what do you want. You can check Apache settings. You can check um, file in HD. You can check file of all directory. Et voilà. I hope this tutorial was good for you. Thanks for watching.